I lost my luggage. Flashback to last week's video, I lost my luggage. On our way to Galapagos in Panama, my luggage was lost. Tried to get it back while I was in Ecuador. Failed and failed and failed. So our only hope to get back my luggage with some really expensive camera equipment in it was on our way back through Panama. And it was supposed to be a one and a half hour stop in Panama and then onward. So we knew it was gonna be tight. We didn't have a lot of time. So we land and we start sprinting, like looking like a mad family going crazy through the Panama airport, just sprinting full speed, get to the lost and found, and the guy took a siesta. That, that man was just gone. And they called him and he's... He said he's gone home and he'll be back tomorrow morning at 8.30 a.m. You broke our hearts, Panama. <clears throat> Panama, you got some making up to do. <laughs> we, that was our only Panama experience, and our so we, hearts were broken. So we missed our flight. We had to stay the night in Panama. We're stuck in Panama. We're gonna be here for one night, and then we're gonna fly home. All right, say hi, Panama. Hi, Panama. The next day we wake up, and we go wait outside the office of this dude, hoping to retrieve my luggage. And details can be spared, let's just say, it got sketchy, some laws were broken, I got my passport back, and... Is that our bag? Is that... It is. But... But... Where's our snow Do you fly today? Yeah, yeah. But where's the snow part? Okay. Go back with the one. Okay. With what? The snow one. Very And he made me sign my name on whatever sketchy document before we left. I did not sign my name. <laughs> I wrote him a message. Do you know what I wrote? No. Yes. Did you? Yes. Of course you did. <laughs> not my proudest moment, but oh, I was so frustrated. <laughs> I was so, when I wrote it, I was just like. <laughs> no, I would go ahead and say that we've had maybe four just awful days where we've just Not wanted, so bad in two years. Yeah, where we've wanted to just throw in the towel and, and go this was one home. of them. But that's the key. We want to give up and go home, but we do not have a home and there is no giving up. So we just kind of cry it out together and go on the next thing. Well, we, did, we did a good job. I mean, Garrett was livid. Just beyond upset. Can you and picture like, this face, Matt? It looks kind of like this. And we've learned how each other kind of deals with stress and copes with stress. And I mean, I think we both did a really good job. You tried very hard, I could tell, to not take your anger out on us, which is often what we do. And I tried very hard to just like give Let him a little bit of space, <laughs> take care of everything I'm else so, so there wasn't there anything else. So, Take care of everything else so like nothing was like adding to his stress do you remember what i said to you before bed though i was like sorry if i got mad at you today it wasn't at you you did a good job i could tell you're stressed That's it. hey go
Good morning, buddy. Listen, all you New Yorkers. <laughs> Hello. In New York. <laughs> so we're going to introduce ourselves because of the 12 people watching this video, maybe there's like two of you that don't know who we are yet. So we're a family. There's four of us, Garrett, Jessica, Dorothy, Manila, and we're going to tell you about some secret talents we have. First, Manila. The boy can sleep anywhere, and he goes to bed happy, and he wakes up happy. He's so cute. If you put just a little towel down on the floor and say it's his bed, he's all about it. Yeah, snuggle if up you, on the floor, out. If you put him on a king-size bed, middle will just go back. Which is a very important skill when you're a full-time traveling family, and every week you have a new house and a new bed. <gasps> hey, good morning, buddy. Do you have a good snooze? Say good morning. Morning. Second, Dorothy. She believes in magic and that might be my favorite thing about her. And her secret talent is she can control the honk of a car with her mouth. This is how she does it. I taught her it. She sets her feet, rolls back her shoulders, and that's how you do it. Again, sets her feet, rolls back her shoulders, and honk. I taught her it. If you're teaching your child, it's important that they are close to a car, and you probably just want to have the keys to that car in your hands for whatever obvious reason, but it's magical. Jessica, her secret talent has been revealed here in New York where it was cold and she wore socks with sandals and I held up the phone and it was like, socks with sandals dance, go. You just busted out the cutest dance so in history. So my secret talent is I rock the socks with sandals. Oh. Hey. I have tried to learn it, but I just can't. If you think you can master the socks with sandals dance, give it a try. Send it to us and we'll repost it. And then I'm Garrett, no secret talents. Garrett's secret talent we found the other week in Ecuador when he lost his luggage and could wear the same thing for five days and he still didn't smell. These are my gym clothes, my only gym clothes. I've worn them all week and yesterday Jess was like, do you want me to do laundry? I want me to wash your clothes. I'm good. <laughs> Am I good? Yeah, it's weird. So I'm good. definitely stickier than he is. <laughs> so New York. Why did we so come to New York? So this week we're here in New York. Welcome to our Airbnb. This week we're working with Airbnb and we were able to choose a place right next to Central Park. Like, prime location. Yeah. It is seriously a stone's throw from the Upper West Side of the park and it is just the cutest little neighborhood ever. Oh, tell about the lady who welcomed us, like our landlord. Oh, nicest lady host ever. We like show up, we took a red eye, we arrive at 6 a.m. and at 7 a.m. when we get to our Airbnb, she has like this plate of like warm croissants. And breakfast food for and us. And then breakfast food and just like a bunch of snacks for the kids. Just seriously the sweetest host ever. Which that's not like expected or required on Airbnb, but it happens quite often. It's been really nice. And this week, honestly, we didn't want to play tourist here. Like Karen and I have both been to New York City. And the last few weeks have been really great with the kids doing the Galapagos and a lot of really fun things. But we wanted to have this week be about the kids and taking it easy and parks and museums and like living like locals. But Dorothy, you gotta watch out for the giant. Oh, watch out, Dorothy. Oh, watch out. Oh, watch out. Oh, watch out. Oh, watch out. 
And that's the most important thing in the museum. What is it? I just told you. Start spreading the news. I'm leaving today. Like I want to be a part of it. New Bobby. York, New York. Go, go, go. Back up on I'm longing to stray. Right through the very heart of it. New York, New York. You I want thing, right? to wake up in a city that doesn't sleep. And find I'm king of the hill. The top no, of the heat. Dorothy, did you see that? And that's the coolest thing I saw in there. I just told you. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Dorothy. Guess what? And that was the most important thing. What was it? That was the most important thing I ever got for Christmas. What was it? I just told you. I didn't hear you. Well, next time. And that was the most important thing the officer told me. What was it? I just told you. What was it? I just told you. <laughs> Are you okay, sweetie? Here. Oh, let's go. Do you think they have ice cream in here? I bet. And that was the most important flavor of ice cream. I just, I, I just heard you. No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually really cool and weird and awesome that we could walk up to an exhibit and Dorothy would be like, Mom, these are the right. turtles that we saw in Dominica. Or like, Such a good memory. What else did she say? So many times she would like, this is, oh, look, those are booby birds. And they're diving yeah. in the water to catch fish. It's a booby bird. Where? She has a That's great cool. memory. And so just like going places like this, she was able to recollect a bunch of the stuff that we've seen on our travels and like tell us about it. Our kids aren't in school, but they're learning. We really love living like locals. Manila, I would venture to say that he loves cities like no, here he or London subway. or Tokyo. Trains. Trains and buses and oh. cars everywhere. <laughs> as soon as we get down to the subway the first time, I like didn't really catch this on video. But like his first time on the subway, he was like, it's awesome, it's awesome. <laughs> Where did he learn that one? I don't know, <laughs> but he was so cute and he just like loved it. And then we would get off of the subway and he'd be like, ah, more choo-choos, more choo-choos. I'm like, not yet, we'll come back to the choo-choos. All right, go more. Go more. <laughs> Here comes the train, where's it? Where's the train? <gasps> wow. Two stops plus three stops. How many is that? Two plus three. 
a bakery that I don't know details about, but you were so excited. And it was warm <laughs> and smelled like sugar in there. No, we were over in New Jersey and spent the afternoon there with some friends. And when I found out that we were right around the corner from Carlos, from Cake Boss, we had to go inside. Boss Baby? Not Boss Baby, Cake <laughs> Boss! That's a TV show, I think. <laughs> Nice, Dorothy. Can you turn all the way around? Okay, keep cruising. Follow mommy. Oh, <laughs> I gotcha. We didn't do very many touristy things while we were here, but we were walking around downtown and we were right next to the World Trade Centers and the Memorial. So we walked over and I kind of debated in my head whether or not I should say anything to Dorothy about what this meant and what it was, but I decided I would. Dorothy can understand something, so I kind of explained to her a few things about what had happened on 9-11. And At first she just kept asking why. Why would someone do this? Why didn't the plane drive around the building, why didn't the plane, good you know, and like she was asking all these good questions, you know, and I kind of just had to explain how some people were really bad people, some people were really, really mean, and she got it, and then when we walked up to the Fountain Memorial and she saw it, she was in awe, and when I explained to her that each of the names on it were people who had died, she like got it, and was like quite reverent and respectful and it was cool. I mean, for a four-year-old to kind of get the gravity of like where we were and what it meant, it was really cool to see. And all the way to the clouds. And all the way to the clouds. Look at all the clouds. Look at all the City. I'm sure we'll be back sometime soon. All right, until next time. Statue of Liberty, long live the world, trade long live the king. Your arm from the